So kinetic energy in our class will be defined as stored energy that comes from motion and is related to mass and velocity. So the key word here is going to be motion. So that means anything that's moving will probably have kinetic energy. And another big hint for us will be, so anything that has a mass and anything that has a velocity. Now we haven't really talked about velocity in this class yet. So um, it's gonna be, uh, we'll, we'll say that velocity is something with a speed. Speed and direction. And so things that are moving will have a speed and a direction. And in our class, we say that um, our symbol is going to be a big E for energy and to differentiate what kind of energy it's going to be a lowercase k in the subscript position. Now, in our two scenarios, we have a scenario that's got a 5 meters per second and a 10 meters per second. So the 5 meters per second is less velocity than the 10 meters per second. So the one that's moving faster is going to, or the one that has more velocity. Okay, so more velocity, more speed is the one that's going to have a greater EK. And this one will have a small EK. And so the reason why we chose the one that's moving at 10 meters per second is because faster moving has a greater um, energy that's kinetic, okay? And now the car and the truck that are going the same speed, so now we have the velocities are equal. So this will, we'll say this is number one and this will be number two. And so now their velocities are the same now we're just gonna have to look at, let's see. So velocities are the same, and now let's look at their mass. Their mass is, let's see, mass one versus mass two. Uh, the mass of the truck is much bigger than the mass of the car. So the mass of the truck is bigger, meaning that the greater massive object that's moving will be having also a greater kinetic energy. So faster, or not faster, I'm sorry, a more massive moving, so don't forget that they have to be moving object, will have a greater kinetic energy. Now you are going to create your own scenario below and so that means you can think of something that's maybe moving faster or maybe something that has uh, different masses that are also moving. But one of the key terms here is that the object must be moving, right? So don't forget, kinetic energy means that the object is in motion.